Do you want to know how to create a parallax effect controlled by panning gestures into Multipe without having to write a single line of code? Well, then this sample is just perfect for you. Parallax effects are pretty popular in the modern web. They create an illusion of depth and space. But this effect is not only eye candy and fun to use, but can also serve to present large content on small devices. Creating a parallax effect usually requires writing a lot of code. In Tumultype, however, this can be managed by using the timeline. So let's take a look. First, let's take care of the layers. For this sample, I have used a simple stock image taken from unsplash.com, so it's free to use. Then I have used Photoshop to cut it into three layers and added some overlapping content. With the new selection and masking features and the repair tool in Photoshop, this is really merely a child's play. If you want me to show this in detail, let me know in the comment section below. In Tumultype, we then use the timeline to create the animation, all the way from left to right, so that the layers are evenly aligned in the middle of the animation sequence. We apply the same animation to the icon. We then use the scene load event to jump to the middle position as soon as the composition is loaded and disable autoplay. All that's left is adding the panning controls. Here we add a drag event to the icon to control the timeline playback on the horizontal axis, which means that the playhead on the timeline is moved accordingly when the user drags the icon to the left or to the right. That's pretty much it. Remember to download the sample and check out other videos and samples on tortahype.com. You can leave a comment if you have questions or ideas what we should cover next. Enjoy the sample and happy animating! <laughs>